Okay, so this is just the second installment of my video monologue uh, for week two of the module. This week in the labs, we kind of looked at some of the more environmental and social um, issues which are related to the topic, to the module challenge, which you can see is uh, Design and Relays, a sustainable creative artifact, which contributes towards addressing a real world social and environmental issue. Um, I think I kind of overlooked this last week and took more an in-depth look at it this week. So, gender, what does sustainable mean, first off? Uh, it's the use of natural products and energy in a way that does not harm the environment. So, for example, instead of ordering in timber for this project, we're going to be trying to recycle some timber that I have at home, or an old project, or an old table, or something like that. And then, what are social and environmental issues around me? Well, kind of environmental issues which we covered in the lab, which in our, we kind of did it for our local areas, would be mainly, you can't really see it, but it's down here kind of where that light is shining. But deforestation, forestry is a big area around the Midlands where I'm from, so deforestation is tearing away at a lot of the countryside in Ireland. And this kind of links in then to construction studies which you can see as it's generating more classroom waste because we're generally what, what I found over placement was there was no real, you never really thought about the waste. It was just get your, your lamb board, cut out, cut out whatever you need. If there's off cuts, it doesn't matter. Leave them in the box. We'll use them for kindling or something. But then that got us thinking of more towards the global warming and climate change and the bushfires that are currently are, are so prominent in Australia. So through just basically even using the recycled timber, we're already cutting down on cost for one, some of the deforestation, which in turn acts better towards uh, climate change and which you can see in the top left hand corner, the extinction of animals. So a lot of habitats are destroyed through the deforestation process. So I think that by able to recycling, by being, being able to recycle some of the products in this in this challenge, we will cut down on the extinction of animal habitats, uh, deforestation, waste in a classroom, and help towards climate change on a very small scale, but it's still one step further than what we could have been. So then some of the social issues around us uh, were homelessness in Ireland, elderly people kind of being alone. Um, being alone, kind of unsafe in their own homes. And then kind of, we looked at the project that we completed last year, which would have a second function. So if this, whatever I make has a function, it should refer to an issue in Ireland. Um, another one that was brought up was robbery, the increase of crime and drug gangs in our local areas. Um, an imbalance of money, which is in turn going towards homelessness in Ireland and kind of third world countries, the new government election, they're just popular topics at this time. So this is kind of just a, a mood board which I made up um, of my thinking so far. So if we start just in the bottom left hand corner, we can see the bushfires, uh, panda bears, elephants, these are all animals that are going extinct. And then just next to it, you can see what the effects of deforestation is. It's cutting down all the trees limiting the production of oxygen or the turning of carbon dioxide into oxygen. It's just kind of, it's a topic which is coming more prominent and I think schools should be more involved in it and be aware of the actual um, repercussions of it. Then if you look up, I was just kind of thinking about what kind of timber will be around me at home. So there's pallets. We actually have an old school desk in one of our sheds at home, which I'm thinking of using in the project all steel bars, hurleys, and then just over on the right hand side you can see an aisle drum, which is kind of just a creative way of turning an aisle drum into a kitchen or a sitting room coffee table. And then you can see kind of just using old reclaimed timber, and I see poxy resin made to look like a river in the middle of it. So kind of my thinking this week has been Looking at that environmental issue, I was thinking more on the deforestation. I know it's such a broad topic, but it is prominent in my local area. And I was thinking of a way of incorporating this um, 
school desk which I have sitting in a shed at home kind of trying to incorporate it in a way that you could actually set up the the area where the desk flips up to be able to put your whatever clay and compost into it and use it in schools to educate students on um, the growing of trees because this could also come from I, I, the idea of also came from I have a tillage farm at home so I do have an interest in uh, horticulture and arable crops so even if you don't use it for growing trees it can still be used in classrooms as teaching students about what is needed to actually grow what is needed to grow plants what's needed in the soil what the actual each stage of growth looks like it's just another idea that i'm coming through with uh, it's kind of just where i'm at this week so that's my monologue